Hi, I'm Margaret Martin, registered physical therapist. I'm here today to help you age stronger with exercise. Today, we're gonna to cover balance. So join me, I've chosen a wobble board. You can stand on one foot or stand in a, whatever position challenges your balance, even just a little bit. Because what I wanna share with you today are three surprising facts that you might not know about how to improve your balance. So the first one is something we've worked on all the way through the series up to this point. It's your alignment. So having that nice base of support through the base of your heel, the base of your big toe and your Six, fifth toe and if you have six well that's okay too um, I did know somebody like that once upon a time um, the other thing softening your knees engaging your pelvic floor muscles your deep abdominal muscles thinking about that alignment of your ribs to your pelvis positioning of your head is so very important with balance because it weighs 11 pounds it will influence your balance so keeping that alignment as much as you can when you're working on your balance on a daily basis is going to help you just to naturally go into that when your body needs good alignment for recovery. And hopefully the more often you go back to working on balance, whether it's the sitting or standing, your body just takes that with you throughout the day. In our second point, what I wanna share with you is what you do with your eyes. So often, when I teach a yoga class, I will have my clients, you know, look to the right, look to the left, look up, down, diagonals, maybe move their head and their eyes or just their eyes. And, you know, if it's the first time they're in my class, they're going, what is going on? Because they've habitually been told just to focus on a point. So you hear that a lot, whether it's, you know, in a fitness class or a yoga class, but by fixating on a point, that doesn't prepare you to you know, engage in the outside world. Whenever we walk, we are momentarily on one foot. And during that split second on one foot, if our gaze is captured to the right or to the left, that's an opportunity to, to be thrown out of balance if you've never trained your balance to be able to maintain that stability um, you know, through the movement of your head and your eyes. The third point is when you're working on your balance, don't think about your balance. So just as I'm, you know, talking with you today, I'm having to think about, hmm, what's my next point? And so my point is not to think about what it is, you know, that, you know, you're focusing on, but rather whether, you know, you're um, counting down by threes from 33 to three, or you decide, oh, I'm gonna go through my grocery list, so I'm gonna think, oh, what am I having for supper tonight? Because, you know, I hear it from clients all the time, they're walking and they're engaged in a conversation with somebody, and they're like, why was my balance so bad? Why did I fall? It's because they were engaged in something else and they weren't just focused on their balance. So when you are working on, whether it's, you know, standing in a tandem step, or just a regular step, step, or you know, on a wobble board, think about other things and allow yourself to, to challenge, to take your, your balance to the next, next step. And so um, I want you to be aware that, that you know, what I'm sharing with you here is just a tiny little nugget of so many things that you can do to reduce your risk of falling and to improve um, your balance as you age. I you know, invite you to check out my series. I have a very extensive balance and fall prevention series that if you click on the description box below, you'll get more information about. And if you like this um, episode today, please subscribe if you haven't already. And by clicking on notifications, you won't miss any other episodes. So thank you for joining me today. I wish you a lovely day.